All right, welcome back. In visual range now, sir. Preparing final approach. It's time for the next hallmark of the XCOM franchise, the home base. Control, this is Sky Ranger 1 requesting permission to land. Copy, Sky Ranger. Permission granted. You are cleared for pad number 3. Gonna take more than a hole in the ground to beat those things. Well, yeah, but it's a cool hole. I do love these helicopters. Just admit it, you're impressed. Yeah. So, what is the Bureau anyway? Bureau of Operations and Command. Never heard of it. You were never meant to. Cryptic. This base wasn't meant to be operational for another year. We've called in every operative we had earmarked for the project, but... Oh, well, Falk, you just wasted just a whole we'll cigarette. Staffed. Director Falk, sir. Welcome back. These two are with me. That air looks At least this location is secure. And I intend for it to stay that way. I'll be giving a report to all staff at 0300. Report to the operations room at that time. I have a lot to prepare, Carter. Agent Weaver will show you around. Down here, Carter. Come on. When Ivan put Sputnik up, the brass got scared. This project became top priority. Off the books, of course. That did it. Hold it there. Now don't move it. All right, people. Show's over. Back to work. Carter, this is Nico De Silva, senior field agent. Nico, you'll be sharing your workspace with Agent Carter. Welcome to the most advanced facility on Earth. Falk wants him up and running ASAP. Time is of the essence. Straight from his mouth. Gotcha. Well, come on. Our office is right over here. Can't be that hard is on tough broad. So, this is us. This is my desk here. Yours is over there. Get comfortable, Will. Things as they are. This is both your office and your quarters. Do you mind if I call you Will? Yes, I do mind. Well, I'm not calling you Agent Carter. I might be military, but I'm not that formal. I prefer William. Yeah, well, I prefer Nico, even if my mother insists on calling me Nicholas. There are some things that are just beyond our control. I can see we'll be fast friends, you and I. Glad to hear it. My supply of friends got cut a bit short lately. That all, De Silva? Ah, for now, sure. You have any questions, just ask. And one more thing. Yeah? The old man, Director Falk. He's a hard man to impress, but you managed it. Not what I expected after reading your file. <laughs> Only pleasant surprise I've had all day. All right, what do you got for us? How many people around here know my history? We all know each other. Don't worry, you'll get to read up on us, too. The old man thinks that the more attached we are to one another, the better we'll be in the field. The Bureau might be an adjustment for you. We work in teams here. Seems like you're more accustomed to operating alone. Yeah, well, I'm also accustomed to the enemy being human. An attack like this, it's gonna mean a lot of adjustment for everybody. I'm a different man today than I was yesterday, you know. Ain't that the truth. Where were you this morning? Did you get caught in... in any of this? No. I was out gathering intel on a weather anomaly way out in the boondocks. Something was interfering with television and radio signals. Everything except the heavy-duty military gear. Since the attack, it's gone global. They shut down our communication just before the attack. Keep us from coordinating. Smart. Sure, but there's one way it helped us. Can you imagine the panic if the public found out about an alien attack? You seem like you know your way around this place. I don't typically work out of this facility. Hell, no one really did until today. I'm with the NSA, but my post for the past few months has been with a small team that reports to Director Falk. Anomalies? What type? Different types, but all, well, supernatural. Sounded silly to say it until a few hours ago. Mostly weather oddities, but also we've been recovering deposits of this Illyrium stuff. Who else is on this team? It was supposed to be kept small until it was needed. Now, people who were pre-flagged for recruitment are coming in. Well, the ones that are still alive. People were pre-selected? From where? From the military, the clandestine service, DIA, even some civvies. No one knew that they were selected until they got the call. As of this morning, 
Falk activated the project and sent that call out. And before today? For the last few years, it's just been a couple dozen specialists. But now, we've got a lot of new squaddies to bring up to speed. That's about it. I need to get myself oriented. Let's talk later. Sure thing, Will. Good to have you on board. Sounds like the director's about to start. Come on, let's get the good seats. These base sections tend to be uh, a little bit chatty, so I don't uh, have many opportunities to add my own uh, two cents. As far as the files, I'll be adding those uh, into the thread. Lights. We are at war, and not the one we were expecting. Groom range, 2100 hours. Survivors, six. In just a few minutes, our enemy managed to destroy the primary strategic command center. By 2130, strategic command itself ceased to exist. Our combined military forces have been routed. The comms have gone dark. The red phone will not be ringing. And that is why, as of now, I, Myron Falk, am assuming command of what's left of our nation's defenses. The Bureau was founded to coordinate resistance forces in the event of a complete and successful Soviet invasion. That mission remains the same, even if our enemy does not. We now face an opponent from beyond our world, whose identity is yet unknown. But make no mistake, this enemy has crippled us. They have technology decades beyond what we possess. We must make it our own. Their weapons will become our weapons. And when they do, we shall annihilate them. I give you new orders. Survive. Adapt. Win. Welcome to XCOM. You'll note that XCOM never actually appears anywhere. A year? Will! You can't kill us for a year! I'm sorry, Country. Your family needs you. Obligatory tortured no. dream sequence. No, I can help them. Let me help them! He's so complex. Will. 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 Carter. Hey, Will, wake up. <clears throat> what? Jesus, Carter. How was it you look worse than before you went to sleep? I guess our friend Carter here sleeps like the noble horse standing up. Game really could use a few more animations. I'm fine. And you yelling for me to wake up doesn't help. <laughs> I wasn't the one yelling. Hmm. I was yelling? What did I say? Something about a fire. I don't know. I guess after the morning you had, it makes sense. No, this wasn't about that. It wasn't about Grim Range. Well, my guess is you're not the only one having nightmares after this morning. Head shrinking's gonna be a big business after this war. If there isn't after this war. Christ, that was dark. Anyway, Falk's looking for you. Wants you in his office, ASAP. The old man say what he wanted with me? Ha! <laughs> Guess you don't know him all that well yet. The director doesn't tell anyone anything he doesn't think they... need to know. Well, I guess you can't really hold knocking off for a few against me. Seeing as how we seem to be in our office and our quarters. Yeah, I guess some parts of the emergency plan leave something to be desired. Ah well. It'll be just like college, right? Yeah. Except I stayed in Mrs. Hawthorne's boarding house back in Terre Haute. Had my own bathroom and everything. Well, oh, ain't you fancy. Were you saying something about that radio? Oh, yeah. No, he wasn't. Cheap thing normally just pipes in the company elevator music. But it's been picking up some weird signal. Damned if I know what it is. Don't we have more important issues to deal with? Uh, sure. That's why I haven't bothered with it. But if someone on the outside is able to broadcast through that jamming signal, well, it could be important. Who would know more about this? Check with Operator Chelsky. She's information officer for the Bureau. Keeps track of communications, arranges contacts, manages what the public hears. 
the whole deal. I'd better go see what the old man wants. See you later, Will. There's not really a correct order for any of the conversations, but picking some options makes more sense than others. Two. Message repeats. Two. Five. Zero. Better make a note of this and talk to one of the radio operators. Nine. You probably ought to run that by Operator Chelsky across the hall. Message repeats. Might be important. Two. Five. Zero. Well, let's follow the exclamation point. Nice little place. Things are looking bad outside, apparently. You the dispatcher? A little more than that, Agent Carter. I'm Chief Information Officer with the Bureau. Information Officer? What does that mean? I oversee the dispatchers, but in addition to that, I also manage our public communications and keep our profile low. And for now, my job is also keeping the public from knowing the scope of the threat. I'll generally pick the common sense answers. Because rioting mobs of civilians are the last thing we need right now. Exactly. You and your agents contain the enemy's attacks, and my operators will keep the public panic level in check. Hmm. I'll try not to distract you too much. As long as you have a good reason. What do you need, sir? Well, let's see. The radio's been playing a strange broadcast. Any idea what it means? I heard. It's probably an automated weather station nearby, but I suppose it might be instructions for picking up a weaker signal. A clever broadcaster could bypass the worst of the jamming that way. It could be survivors. We could bring them in. It's worth checking out. I'll have Operator Hughes run the radio while you give us the data. First set the range to... At this point, set all we have to do to is input the data that yeah, we heard direction. from the radio. And here you'll notice set something the again. And the frequency? Characters will often talk as the though they're performing an action, but they're basically hertz. locked Checking into their conversation frequency. action Nothing. throughout each conversation Wait. here. What is... It's survivors. So, Chilsky here is uh, telepathically Reply. scanning the radio Tell waves as opposed to actually we'll turning any knobs. And this we'll is something that crops up a lot. We'll also have to make sure they stop broadcasting immediately. We can't risk that information. Like when spreading. Carter wakes up, he's already standing, rescued. and you'll see a few other instances later on. Or a characters hand you an item or something, but don't actually hand it to you, but all of a sudden you have it afterwards. I'll point that out later. You were there. You saw what he was capable of. I Get did. that blinky it's thing just... later. His file paints a different picture. Is that the same model as the chick who shot us? Speak of the devil. Carter, good. Agent Weaver is afraid you don't play well with others. I tend to see that as an asset. That's really not a good asset. What do you want from me, sir? You're not here in this facility by chance. I brought you here quite purposefully. I've been following your career for some time. Yeah, that's a, kind of a stupid reply. Why me? I've been behind a desk since... Well, for a while. Yeah, but you were a hell of an agent before you sat behind that desk. And what's more, I know what put you behind that desk. The brass put me there. Sure, the brass made the call. But it was you who kept yourself there. I don't need another round of psychobabble. I had enough of that from the company shrinks after the incident. It was an accident, Carter. Beyond your control. Right, right, yeah. And next you tell me how I can't save everyone. It's too late for that. But you can save some of them. And right now, that might be enough. Right. Well, I'm with you, Falk. If only because, for all we know, this clown show you're running here is all that's left of our nation's defenses. Then that makes you one of the nation's best weapons. All right, what do you got to tell us? What do we know about the enemy? Very little. Before this morning, we only knew of scattered oddities. We weren't even sure if they were connected. Such as? Deposits of the substance called Illyrium were found in various locations across the nation. There were weather oddities. We received and investigated reports of what we called thinnings. Localized instances where the very fabric of reality itself seemed to be warping, then dissolving. And this was kept secret? From whom? The populace? The news would have generated mass panic. No. The circle was kept quite small on this. Now I'm what a part of it. Place? I mean, when aliens from another world aren't attacking our planet. This facility is essentially fulfilling its intended function right now. 
It was created to respond to a potential invasion on domestic soil. Do all of these people work here? No. Typically, you won't find much more than a skeleton crew here. But certain carefully selected individuals across all military disciplines are aware of this facility's existence. In the case of a domestic invasion, they're under orders to arrive here. I never knew about this place. Well, based on your performance at Groom Range, I'd say that omission was a grievous oversight. What's our plan? Our first order of business is to get this facility running at full capacity. I believe our best shot at defeating an enemy with superior technology is to take that technology from them and make it our own. And we got the facilities to do that? We're still finishing construction on the lab, but we've already got one of the best leading the team, Dr. Dresner. And he won't be doing it alone. I'm in the midst of organizing field teams to be sent on recon and recruitment missions for other specialists. All right, let's get out of here. I'm heading down to the ready room. De Silva will meet you there and help you assemble a team. Get moving. All right, guess we gotta go find De Silva one more time. You'll notice that this office is now locked, so if you're playing and you want to hear that audio log, uh, get it before you talk to Falk. Anyway, the base sections in every XCOM game have always been a pretty cool Welcome thing. Aboard, you know, get sir. to build and decide which rooms go where. You what don't have like? that here. I heard some of them look like us. This is the map of the I've complex. We just came like from kind of, O, the blue there. Know, some, some kind of monsters or something. To the left is engineering, behind that is the labs, and we want to go to R, the ready room. So that'll be towards our right. Next to it is the armory and the firing range. You lost, pal. Well, ready room's that way. Thanks, buddy. They did How's put a lot of Major effort Carter? into the base. There's always uh, background yes, things happening and going on, right and it away. changes from mission to mission, so it's pretty cool. The old man just called down. Says one of the scientists is missing. Disappeared, along with his research and high explosives. Does Falk think he's gone rogue? Maybe, but we can't risk a panic. Nils is tracking him down, but you need to get a team ready to help. Quick and quiet. Alright. So this is where we choose our a agents. You'll notice that uh, all of the four agents we have are level one. Nils and McKinney, I think. Uh, you only get access to them once. We can change our loadout to any of the weapons that we encountered in the previous mission, but I'm going to stick with what I got. Pistol and shotgun, eh, it's a pretty decent combo. Uh, I've only got one ability at the moment. The perks is where you spend your level up points. And as for customization, you can change the color of your outfit. Eh, looks kind of nice. Might as well. Alright, anyway, as far as the four classes go... Nope, oh, yeah. Uh, we've got our support, which is Dutra. Ashby. Oh, sorry, Dutra here. Support's got the nice sort of archer sweater thing going on. Ashby's our recon. They're always dapper in like a nice suit. Geppinger's our engineers, who have the overalls. And Lewis is our commando. I'm gonna go with uh, Ashby and Lewis, a recon and a commando for this part. It's a pretty good balance of uh, firepower and uh, aggro control. Carter, I chased the infiltrator to the morgue. There's no way out of there. Wait for me, Nils. I'll get your back. I'll wait as long as I can, but we can't risk leaving him with those explosives. I'm on my way. Yeah, he might damage Carter. the morgue. Head through the armory and take a left for the elevator. I'll send your team up to join you. Head Damn through it, the Nils, armory, on. take a left. There's nothing there. Yeah, it threw me off the first time I played. You want to go right, and then left here. If it blinks, push it. Yeah, we're still being railroaded and stuff, but again, I, I really like the way they've laid out the base, and there's always cool stuff happening all around you. And like I said, I love the design of the Sky Ranger. They just don't make aircraft that look like that anymore. Nice little detail with the flapping claw. Agent Nils is inside. He ordered us all out here. I'll handle this. You think this plasma burns bad? Alright, let's go. annoys me how he has a shoulder holster and yet apparently keeps his uh, pistol in his pocket. Oh well. Hmm. A 
clue. Looks like something happened here involving bullets and feet. Nils? You in here, buddy? Christ, Nils. You. Do not grieve. He died well. Another eloquent enemy. Why? Why kill Nils? Why attack our world? You do not understand. Pay attention this to his world model. Is no longer Look at the back of his head next time you, you see it. Learn. Right here. Mosaic will teach you. What the hell is Mosaic? Mosaic is the truth that humanity shall come to know. It is unfortunate... Later on in the game, uh, they switched to a different model, so this yeah, cutscene well, must have been rendered uh, pretty early on. And what is that? You're surrounded. There's no way for them to have entered that room. I don't know how they got there. Anyway, I'm going to use our commando's ability here, which is Taunt. So... Taunt controls the enemy's aggro, except I can't use it yet. The game actually locks the taunt for this part until he summons in a couple of his sectoid buddies. After he's summoned his reinforcements, then we can uh, taunt him. So I'll put a critical strike on him, got rid of most of his shields, and now we can try and get him down. Draw its fire! Hey, over here, asshole! <laughs> I like how taunt involves actual taunts. Okay? A little bit hurt here, so activate healing. Attack! Targeting. Focus on that target. All right. Now with everyone hitting him, we should go down pretty quick. I'm getting queued up. Going in. Let's take out some of these sectoids. Uh, one of our agents has gone down. I don't need to deal with though. I can tell my squad mate to stabilize him. Any squad mate can stabilize any other, so it's okay. Uh, oh, commander, you're wounded. Ah, go down. Yeah, one one more time. Uh, that's what happens Help when you don't take there. cover and take three shots to the face. I can't get up. God damn it! Ashby has just put like three bullets into Lewis. Yeah, friendly fire is a thing in this Don't game. Give up yet. So now Lewis is critical. Let's try this again. There we go. Nicely enough, while you're reviving someone, you're practically invulnerable. Or you take way reduced damage. Commander, you're wounded. Eat it. Area secure. Cease fire, fellas. He's worth more to us alive. Let's get him into custody. I got the infiltrator, Falk. Alive. Custody. Major Nils reported. Nils is dead. I told him to wait for backup, but he went in without me. Understood. Meet me and Ops. We've got work to do. Anyway, you'll notice that, yeah, Carter's melee really sucks. But we're about to get something that will change that. And make it at least halfway decent. guys moved in here quick. Hey. How you doing, Nico? You get him, Carter? Yeah. I got him. Oh, well, that's a good thing, isn't it? Nils. He's gone. Damn it. I should have been there. Listen, uh, I gotta head out. Director's got us on a recon mission. When I get back, we'll raise a glass to Nils. All right. Good luck, Agent De Silva. I don't need luck. And the name's Nico. Will. All right. Let's go report to Falk. You know, I don't think there's a single section in this base where there's not somebody smoking. That would explain a lot about the air quality down here. Doesn't explain why there's so many goddamn bugs, though. Another circuit blown! Jesus, you could cut this air with a knife. It's ridiculous. There you are, Agent Carter. Just a moment, please. Ah, uh, crazy German scientist. If you spare a moment, I am Dr. Heinrich Dresner, and I have been expecting you. 
That's nice, Doc, but I gotta report to... I assure you, Herr Falk will be glad that we spoke. After all, we shall need new weapons to fight us for. And my laboratory shall be where they are created. Any weapons you retrieve from the field, we will be glad to study and convert for your use. You know much about these outsiders and their technology? I have been working with Herr Falk for nearly as long as he has suspected their existence. And since the attack, I have had so much more material to study. Try not to sound so cheerful, Doc. We lost a lot of good men that day, and we just lost another. I am sorry, William, but I hope to prevent more losses just as you do. In fact, I came here to give you this. Our first discovery. Sure, but what is it? The Venbrace was designed for close-range attacks to augment your fisticuffs. Against Ooh, the wounded fisticuffs. target, effects can be devastating. But more importantly, it can be modified to allow the capture and use of the outsider weaponry. This could have come in useful a few minutes ago. Ah, but you cannot simply take their weapons. First, you must find one that has not yet been imprinted to the enemies. Every minute we waste could mean another life. My apologies, William. Just take the brace, and I will let you know when it can help us. Thanks, Doc. And maybe our new research subject can help with your next breakthrough. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to go speak with the director. Thank you, William. Come back anytime. Alright, now we've got this uh, big glowy blue thing on our wrist. Ostensibly, this is how you're using your skills in the field, but uh, whatever, it's never clearly explained. Agent Carter, your report. The bastard got Nils. This cannot happen again, Falk. Killing Nils? Christ, we're lucky that's all he managed to do. Agent Nils' loss will be felt throughout the organization. But right now, we have bigger problems. His loss? God damn it, we need to stop these bastards. And we need to do it now. Do you understand that? Calm yourself, Agent. We all agree they have to be stopped. I believe that our best hope for doing so is to recover Dr. Alan Weir from Rosemont University. No, what we need to do is put a stop to the enemy. Agreed. And we can do both. There's been another attack. The target is Rosemont University. A civilian target? Why? Because Dr. Weir's research can tell us what the enemy wants, how they think, and how to stop them. We need him on the team if we want to survive. And you know better than anyone that surviving is the first step to striking back. All right. Let's go get him. Good man. When you're ready, bring up the tactical map on that terminal and your team will be dispatched. Make sure you've got everything in order around the base. Team selected, weapons set, no outstanding business. You never know how long you'll be out on a mission. All right, not much else left to do. All too aware of that, sir. So next time, we're going to be jumping back into the field. So uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you then.